Hello, I'm Ulysses Harris Jr., Meter Services Supervisor with the City of Titusville. I'm a part of the Meter Services team that is a part of Water Resources that falls under Field Operations Division headed by my superintendent, Jeffrey E. Weiner. At this time, I'd like to introduce our meter reading team. Starting with the far right, Mr. Mario Grant, meter technician, Mr. Mike Fossey, meter reader, Mr. Jeffrey Duvall, meter technician, and last but not least, Mr. Doug Elrod, meter reader. Part of uh, our duties is to be the, the field response unit for customer service at City Hall, whereby we go door to door, talk to customers on a need basis regarding low pressure, uh, high readings, uh, and leak investigations, just to name a few. One of the larger uh, duties that we have is reading meters throughout the city of Titusville. Our community consists of 21,500 and some odd meters. As you saw from my earlier introduction, we only have two meter readers. How do two meter readers perform that many readings? Our commitment is to perform a reading on all meters each month for billing purposes. As you can see, the two meter readers would have their handful if we're not for the technology, Neptune AMR program. We're currently in Route 9449, which is located just north of the Astronaut High School area. It's a community uh, that ties into American Village. This route consists of 632 readings. Before this route was converted to AMR, it used to take one meter reader a day and a half to accomplish 632 readings. With Neptune technology, that route now takes 20 minutes. All it takes is for me to drive through the area with the read unit component on board the vehicle as the AMR pick up the routes. It does it efficiently, it does it accurately, and it does it in a manner that is second to none. I'll show you an example how it works. As the meters are read, the addresses will appear on the screen. As I stated earlier, the MRX is highly efficient at picking up the readings. The readings are affected by line of sight. We have homes that are obstacles from some meters, so merely driving through the area would help us accomplish 100% reads. What used to take a day and a half to perform now can be done in less than 20 minutes. As with reading your meter, most residentials use a three quarter inch meter, like so. For billing purposes, the meter reader will come out and physically read a regular red meter by first verifying the serial number, flipping the lid, and ascertaining the reading for monthly billing. The other style of AMR meters that we have in the city of Titusville are the older style. We started these in 2005, installing them throughout the city. As you can see, they consist of an antenna, a transponder, and a meter register. If you wanted to read these meters, all you do is, just like the manual reads, go to the meter box, open up the meter lid, and on clear display will be your reading. The other 42% of our meters are AMR, or radio red meters. There are two different styles. The one style that I'm holding now is called an E-coder, 900. To ascertain the reading, we do it by, with the mobile unit, the MRX. We drive through the community and the radio signal transmit the reading to the equipment. If you wanted to verify this, all you would have to do is go out to your meter box, open it up, and once you open up the lid, the digital display should come on and you can ascertain the reading. Also, as part of this uh, display, we want to empower you, the customers of Titusville, on how to read your meter. Mr. Feisty is going to display to you how the meters are read for residential purposes. You'll go into your meter box and you want to know, compare the reading with your bill. You go outside, go in and open up the lid and the number appear. What's going to happen is you're going to see a lot of zeros in here. 
What you do, you read it just like a regular meter. You count four digits from left to right, just like a car speedometer, and that's your reading. Also, these meters here have a fine line for detecting leaks and everything with an arrow over here that'll show you that you might have an apparent leak in the house, in the home. We're coming up to our first house to read. We're getting a reading of 160. Okay, we're going to punch in the reading, which is 14, 1, 4, enter. And that gives it the reading for that location. I would like to bring your attention to one fact for the city of Titusville. When we read the meters, if we cannot physically read them, if there's a trash on the meter or a car on the meter or any kind of obstacle, we don't put a reading in the handheld. We bring it back where it is downloaded and then a work order is generated to come out to the same location and try to obtain a reading on another day or maybe a few hours later. If you'd like to learn the schedule that your meter will be read each month for billing purposes, you can refer to your water bill. As indicated by my water bill, I'm located in Route 9120. The nine indicates that it's an AMR route. The one indicates that it's cycle one. And my reading will take place during the first week of each month. On the second example that I have is another meter in the same route, route 120, which indicates that it's not an AMR route. It's read during cycle one, which is the first week of the month. We have four cycles with the city of Titusville, one being the first week, two being the second, and so on, with cycle four being the fourth week of the month. This is all identified on your water bill and will help you in anticipating the schedule that your meter will be read.